Drivers must be able to recognise all markings, signs and lights found on the manoeuvring area, their associated purpose and the instructions they provide. Taxiway centre line markings consist of a single continuous yellow line. The taxiway guideline marks the centre of a taxiway or taxi lane. At night, the taxiway centre line is marked by a series of green lights. The apron lead-in line is a single continuous yellow line extending from the taxiway centre line, guiding the aircraft from the taxiway to a parking position on the bay. On some bays, secondary parking positions are provided. In these instances, the lead-in line is indicated by a series of yellow circles. Apron lead-in lines are accompanied by a bay number marking indicated by a yellow number on black. The pushback limit marking indicates the limit to where a tug can push an aircraft nose wheel to, before towing the aircraft forward to the disconnect point. Pushback limit markings comprise of two parallel white lines at right angles to the aircraft pushback line. During pushback, tug operators should be mindful that these markings are used to safeguard both the aircraft and ground personnel from any potential clearance hazards. The nose wheel of the aircraft should not be pushed past the markings. The tow bar disconnection point is a solid white line on the left of the taxiway centre line, which marks the position which the aircraft nose wheel is to be towed to for disconnection from the tow bar. Intermediate hold points consist of a single yellow broken line. These markings are provided at taxiway and taxi lane intersections or on any location where ATC requires vehicles or aircraft to hold. At night, intermediate holding positions are lit by three inset amber lights. Vehicles operating around these markings must be aware of aircraft and follow instructions given by ATC to hold. Taxiway edge markings consist of two continuous yellow lines on the edge of a taxiway. These markings can be supplemented by blue lights. Double yellow lines also delineate between low strength pavement to high strength pavement. Single yellow lines stemming from the double yellow lines indicate low strength pavement. Runway hold points indicate to aircraft and vehicles where aircraft and vehicles must stop until clearance is issued for them to enter or cross a runway. There are a number of lights, signage and markings that indicate a runway hold point. Runway hold point markings, also known as pattern A markings movement area guidance signs, or MAGs. Red runway stop bar lights inset into the pavement with two elevated lights either side of the hold point. And yellow flashing runway guard lights, or RGLs, either side of the hold point. Only holders of a Category 4 ADA may cross the runway hold points unescorted. When approaching a runway stop bar at a runway hold point, you must stop and request clearance from ATC to enter the runway strip. For example, Sydney Ground, Tug Red Zulu on Taxiway Foxtrot, request cross runway 16 right. Do not proceed through the runway hold point if the runway stop bar does not extinguish. Hold your position and contact ATC. When able, ATC will extinguish the red stop bar lights and issue a clearance on the radio. Tug Red Zulu on Foxtrot, cross runway 16 right. Once the stop bar lights extinguish, the green lead-on lights will illuminate. Drivers should always make sure they read back ATC instructions before moving into the runway strip. On Foxtrot, cross runway 16 right, Tug Red Zulu. Once the lights have changed and you have completed the readback of your clearance to ATC, you may proceed. Pattern B marking, otherwise known as Category 1 or 2 holding position, Indicate to aircraft and vehicles to hold at this point when low visibility procedures or LVP are declared or when directed by ATC. Category 1, 2 holding position are marked by the pattern B holding position marking, inset and elevated runway stop bar lights and a mandatory Category 1, 2 runway designation mag sign. Drivers must not cross the pattern B holding point when it is active without clearance from ATC. White gable markers on grass areas surrounding the runway define the edge of the graded portion of the runway strip. Vehicles must not proceed past gable markers unless they obtain clearance from ATC. Only Category 4 holders with ATC clearance are permitted to enter or cross past these markers without an escort. Access to the runway via the gable markers is restricted to Sydney Airport vehicles only. 
Taxiway location mag signs informs the driver or pilot what taxiway they are currently travelling on and are indicated by yellow letters on black background. Taxiway location signs are usually used in combination with a runway designation sign or direction sign. In this instance, the mag sign reflects that you are travelling on Golf 1 with Taxiway Hotel to the left. Directional mag signs identify an approaching intersection of taxiways, aprons or taxi lanes. These are marked with an arrow indicating the direction to turn. Directional signs are made up of black letters on a yellow background. In this instance, the mag sign informs that you are travelling on Golf with taxiway Yankee to the right and International 5 taxi lane to the left. Runway designation mag signs mark the intersection of a runway and taxiway and are positioned adjacent to the runway hold point markings or pattern A markings. The sign displays the runway that the taxiway intersects and the taxiway location sign denotes the intersecting taxiway. Common mandatory instruction signs include runway designation signs, category 1-2 holding position signs and aircraft no entry signs. This mag sign indicates the location of a Category 1-2 holding position. These signs will be located adjacent to the pattern B runway hold point markings.